How big of a problem are scams when it comes to buying pets online? The Better Business Bureau reports they've received more than 330 cases just in November this year. In November last year, they had 77 cases. The reason's pretty obvious. It's the pandemic, according to Katie Galan. As scammers are aware that people are staying home, people have more time. You know, a lot of people are really thinking about getting pets now because, you know, you're home, you have more time to train your pets. Some people might live alone, maybe they're a little bit lonely with the restrictions and not being able to visit with a lot of people right now. Some tips to protect yourself. Number one, insist on an in-person visit with the seller and pet. If the seller lives outside the U.S., you probably want to stay away. If an in-person visit can't be arranged, ask for pictures of the pet. Number two, make sure the seller can provide all paperwork, including immunization records. Get the name of the vet the seller uses for the pet. If it's a pure breed, Ask who the breeder is and for registration documents. Number three, only pay with a credit card. The average scam will put you back at least $750. Credit card companies are generally more willing to give you a refund and chase the scammers themselves. Number four, report scams to local law enforcement, the Federal Trade Commission and BBB.org slash scam tracker. And number five, look for a new pet at one of several local shelters. There are many locally and they'd love nothing better than to see you give one of their own pets a forever home. For a list of local shelters, go to kztv10.com.